All right guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be showing off some of our first Flight Sim 2020 content, and we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head comparison. Now, I've been hearing a lot of stuff about, oh, the airliners are trash and Flight Simulator 2020, and it's not this, and the X-Plane is not that, and it's, it's true and not true. So the thing is, Flight Simulator 2020 has nothing but default aircraft, right? So I don't think it is fair to compare any default airplanes in Flight Sim 2020 to pay airplanes in X-Plane 11. So what we are going to do is do a default to default head to head comparison at a bone stock airport. Now it's important to remember that even in the X-Plane footage here I do have ground enhancement pack like a free texture pack to change the textures of the of the runways and taxiways and things like that and I also have active sky running in the background for making the weather look a little bit better. Now it is Cavo conditions in both of the videos and you'll see at one point along the taxiway in the x-plane video i tried to mimic the sun position to kind of get better lighting and then i end up putting it back to 0700 so this was filmed at 0700 local time from the same airport on a default bone stock flight sim 2020 and just a basically default x-plane 11. All right, so as the aircraft uh, taxi to the runway here, you see I got a little bit off time there. I couldn't position the aircraft in X-Plane 11 to match exactly the same position in Flight Sim 2020, even though the 2020 position is correct for this airport. Now, you can see the ground textures in Flight Sim 2020 is absolutely fantastic. That is more or less what the airport looks like other than what we have on the right-hand side, which is the, the X-Plane 11. Now, you can see they've got uh, centerline lighting there. That's not there in real life. At least it wasn't when I was there. Maybe if someone is uh, familiar with Lorain County Airport, let's see if they've upgraded the taxiways. But to my knowledge, as far as realism goes, the X-Plane version is less realistic with ground textures, even with enhanced uh, texture packs to make the ground look a little bit more realistic. You can see the volumetric grass in Flight Sim 2020 and you get that beautiful bloom off the cowling there. Now, one thing that I love about Flight Sim 2020 is if you're using Track IR, and I'm gonna have a separate video on that, but I think Track IR is kind of a must for FS 2020 because you can really change your head position and still look freely with Track IR. In X-Plane 11, you can't do that. If you look at X-Plane 11, look at the seating position. This is about as good as it gets unless I modify some curves in my track IR settings themselves to make myself sit a little bit higher by default. In Flight Sim 2020, I can literally position where I want my head and then look freely from around there. And the proper seating position for 172 is what you see on the left side of your screen there in Flight Sim 2020. You want to be able to see just off the nose of the cowling there. That's going to be your reference for pitch attitude and bank angles and things like that. So the seating position is most accurate in the Flight Sim 2020 version. Now, again, that's because I'm using Track IR. And I said it before, but I do think Track IR is a huge huge important tool to have for flight sim 2020 especially because their external camera system and their camera system in general is in my opinion lacking compared to the x-plane 11 camera system all right as both aircraft get to the end of the taxiway here you'll see there's actually a nice little uh, run out run up spot here modeled but the uh, taxiway lights are kind of in the way so i just kind of skipped the run up spot there you'll see this is when i go ahead and reset the time for x-plane 11 to match exactly the flight sim 2020 video i bring both aircraft to the runway and i will sync them up right here you are listening to audio from flight simulator 2020 with no audio from x-plane 11. A little bit twitchy on the controls, just a little bit on Flight Sim 2020. I'm still trying to figure out how to get curves modeled in there. Both aircraft rotate beautifully. One thing you'll notice is if you look closely to the Flight Sim 2020 aircraft, you'll see how it has much, it feels, it looks like it has a lot more movement, very subtle movements in all axes of the flight model. And that, to me, feels much more realistic than the X-Plane 11 flight model on the right-hand side. While it's good, it just feels like it's almost too stable to me. Kind of adjusting the cockpit lighting there. I tried to adjust the default cockpit lighting in X-Plane 11 and I couldn't get it to work, up, work there on the 172.
So right here on the left hand side, this looks almost real to me. This Flight Sim 2020 shot right here with the glare of the sun coming over the cowling and just reflecting off of the cockpit strut there, just to me is uh, one of the most beautiful things I've seen in a flight simulator. Now, aside from my complete trash ability to fly two symmetrical general aviation traffic patterns, try to pay attention to the subtle movements of the aircraft on the in between the two. Until the ground textures are not even a comparison. You can't even compare the two. Second notch of flaps going in. Turning base leg here. Now right here you'll really see the difference between an airline guy and somebody who's been flying pistons a hell of a lot longer than I have is a very unequal traffic patterns here. I actually undershoot the turn there on the X-Plane version, but I try to sync it up as best we can here. Get a little bit low there on the in-flight sim 2020, nice little correction. We're back, two whites, two reds. Runway textures by default on this no-name no airport is absolutely astonishing. I think it's one of the most real, realistic runways uh, for default that I've seen. Kind of plunked down the X-Plane version. No real good flare there. I really feel like I can get in and get a nice little float here with the FS-2020 version. Hold it off, bleed the speed, and down we are. Zero for 10 on center line. And that's about all I've got for that. So I'll leave you guys with an unedited clip of a takeoff here departure in the pattern, making left traffic out of runway 225. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you're enjoying your sims. I will look forward to seeing you guys here very soon.